Today's video is going to be a how to update the firmware in your NX series radio. There's two ways that you can accomplish a firmware update. First, you can download from spectrum.com the latest firmware version for your radio, put it on an SD card, install the SD card in the radio, and update that way. Second, you can update through Wi-Fi on the new NX series, which you could not do on the DX line. That's how I'm going to do it in this video is through the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. So we'll push in our scroll wheel. Go down to system setup. It says confirm system menu access. RF will be disabled. Anytime the RF is disabled, whether it's controller mode or you're going into system setup, the light will go out on the power button so you know when you're not transmitting signal to a plane. So something to keep in mind if you are working on a plane and you're not getting any response is because the lights went out and you're not in RF mode. Now we're going to scroll down to Wi-Fi utilities. We're going to connect to the network. Here's our network. So we're going to pick our Wi-Fi here. And then it'll have SSID, which is your network password, and then auto connect. I've got mine on Hibbit. I'll probably change that at a later time to auto connect. Obtain an IP address and connected. Once the radio is connected, you'll notice that you have a blue LED light. And that's your Wi-Fi indicator letting you know that you're connected to the internet. We're going to scroll down to check for updates. We see we have the newest version, which is 3.04.01 PB. Scroll down, click on that one. And now we're updating. It gives you a little timer down at the bottom. So it shows you how long you've been downloading the update. You have your progression percentage on the left that lets you know how far along the download of the update and then you have your speed on the right how fast is downloading the update so we're just going to hang around for a minute and wait till that downloads the update we're almost finished downloading the update we're at 95 percent looks like it's going to roughly take about three minutes to download this update so there we have our new file name we'll push our scroll wheel in to install the update And while that's installing the update, one thing you want to keep in mind is anytime you're doing a firmware update or a system update, anything that has to do with reprogramming the radio, such as, as I mentioned, you know, a update or anything like that, never turn the radio off. One thing that can happen if you're doing a firmware update or a you know, sound update, any kind of update to the radio, and it's going through this process. If you turn the radio off, it can potentially freeze up the system and crash the radio. Not sure if there's a fix for that, but most of the time in electronics, when you crash a radio or crash an electronic like that, it's called uh, basically bricking the electronic. You've got to send it in to the manufacturer and have them repair it. So just be extra careful and don't turn off your radio when it's updating or you're doing a software change, anything like that. And the other thing is always make sure your battery's all the way charged up. You know, don't do any of these processes when your battery's low because if the battery goes dead, that's the same thing as, you know, pulling the battery out and, you know, freezing up the transmitter or whatever you're working on. So definitely want to keep that in mind and that's probably what happens more often than not is you got a low battery and the battery goes dead because if you have a cord plugged in you'll know hey I need to leave my you know electronic in this case my transmitter plugged up where if you've got a battery in there and it goes dead you don't really pay attention to that because you don't see the battery voltage as we're working through these different menus. Now we have our radio updated. There's two ways to verify that we have the latest firmware in our radio, which in this case is 3.04. 
First way to check the firmware version is go down to system setup and scroll all the way down to about. Once you enter that menu, it's going to tell you your serial number and at the very bottom in the center, it's going to tell you the firmware version in the radio. Another way to check is when you power the radio down in the top right hand corner, it's going to show your firmware version as well. 3.04 I hope this video helped you all in learning how to update the firmware in your new NX series radio. If it did, push the like button. If you want to see the future how-to videos on this radio, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.